hello guys what's up everybody welcome to my youtube channel my good name is terry wairi terry wairi on youtube terry.wairi on instagram i do videos along cooking cleaning organization and lifestyle to the new members welcome to my channel please do remember to subscribe if it's your first time clicking on my channel to my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back to my channel i don't take you for granted so guys thank you for tuning in subscribe 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 if you haven't share like comment let's communicate in the comment section and i hope you will enjoy today's video so guys on today's video we are gonna cook bake clean and do everything so at this time it's around 7 30 pm in the evening so i'm going to show you how i wash my fresh fruits and vegetables ready from the market so for me i use vinegar i wash them with vinegar and water twice each then store them in the fridge and guys i'm at my shoshos place so in case you're wondering where i am and I'm, I'm at my shoshos please subscribe Hey guys, so it's time for making dinner and for today's dinner we are gonna have chapati and beef stewed with green peas and Irish potato. I'm cl cleaning the table so that I can start making the chapati dough. So for my chapati recipe, I've done a lot of these recipes in my YouTube channel but for my new members, I'll explain it for you. So for me, I usually use very hot water all-purpose flour salt and sugar together with cooking oil so in my dry basin i'll i'll put the all-purpose flour for today i'm cooking a whole two kgs because we are we are quite a lot in the house we have a visitor and my aunties cousins yes in the house so i'll be cooking the two kgs i'll pour my flour in the basin add salt and sugar add some oil then start kneading bit by bit when adding the water so when the dough is almost ready i will add oil knead it well then cover it with a clean film or a basin which is equivalent to this one and leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes Take a 
have just begun We will always take a stand For the people For the land Let's go back to when we were young For the animals we stand Let's go back to when trees were swung Kids across the Savannah, I'm coming home, Savannah, we'll never be alone, Savannah, the beauty of the world, Savannah, let's all take a ride, Savannah. Hey guys, so as my dough is resting, I came to prepare the stew and what you basically do here, light up my heat, wait my pan to burn, then I'll add some oil, heat it, then add onions. I'll be using four large red onions and guys, I usually tell you every time that good food needs a lot of onions. So a lot of onions, good and perfect food, good and perfect combo. So the combo I'm going to make today is a combo that we'll call the ancestors back <laughs> so guys i'll cook my onions then add salt wait my onions turn mid brown i'll add the garlic and ginger paste cook it well then when it's ready i will add the tomatoes i'm using i think four large tomatoes very ripe tomatoes then i'll later add the carrot chopped carrot into cubes and the green capsicum you can use both the green yellow and red capsicum but for me i'm using the green cum. let them cook soften then i'll add the spices the tomato paste and all you can add soy sauce for me i didn't have soy sauce but you can add then i'll later add my boiled meat my meat is already boiled my boiled meat my peas i boiled the peas today the green peas i usually not not boil them but i boiled because it was so many because i'm cooking a batch a lot of stew then add water kadufu is a must for the chapatis Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, 
Currently, I'm clearing the dishes I used to prep the ingredients of the stew so that I can start making the chapos now as my stew cooks. And guys, if you're enjoying this video at this moment, please do remember to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, let's chat and engage in the comment section, let's enjoy the video and enjoy the music. Hey guys, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take my dough from the basin, roll it in the on the table, sorry, roll it on the table, cut into specific portions. Then after cutting into specific portions, I'll take a small portion, roll it, I mean knead it, then apply some oil and dust some flour, then make it into the forms i don't know how to explain the form i'm making but you'll just see whatever i'll do i'll make it into a certain form then make it into a circle then store it aside on top of flour so guys i hope you'll understand whatever i'm doing here and if you'll not understand please rewatch and watch my other videos too of chapati recipe
So guys, the reason why I'm kneading them, then applying oil and flour, and then form, the, form them into those shapes is to achieve very soft layered chapatis. You'll see those pages and everything in your chapos. I went ahead to check my stew and it was ready so I topped up with my coriander and just like that my stew is ready for eating so let's go back and make the chapos. Hey guys I put my chapo pan to dry so it's ready it's hot and ready so what I usually do I put one kneaded dough in the pan wait for it to dry on the downer side then turn it and put another kneaded dough on top of the dried side dry all the sides then i'll apply oil on top then start burning them to cook well and guys the reason why i'm using this gas is because this gas we want it to end this gas was used during my gas funeral i lost my grandpa three weeks ago and may his soul rest in eternal peace so we just want it to end just like that so let's cook the chapos and i hope you'll enjoy my chapos recipe remember to try them and tag me on my instagram page at terry.wairi My small cousins are already hungry, that's why my auntie is picking chapos from the bowl. And because the stew is ready, why not give them food to eat at this time? So let them eat as we cook the others for us adults. Hey guys, so dinner is ready. I'm currently serving dinner and I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Please do remember to try it and tag me on your stories at terry.wairi. That's my Instagram name. So guys, let's call it a night and meet in the next morning. Hey guys, so it's on Sunday morning. I woke up at around 8 a.m. I'm now making my breakfast in Shosho's place. You wake up and you can make anything you want. So if the thing they have cooked, you don't like it, you'll just make 
you choose what you want so um, i'll be making some meat brown sandwich for me so in this recipe you just do you just apply margarine on the bread one side of the bread you can use white bread or brown bread for me i'm using white bread today after applying margarine you burn it in the pan the margarine side wait for it to turn golden brown then add meat brown on top of the side which is not burning then add the other bread other slice of bread turn it to burn you can use um, the olive oil as a boost to the browning or any oil you like for me i'm using olive oil and just do it alternatively and your meat brown sandwich will be ready so i'll be taking it with some arrow roots locally known as nduma and spiced milk tea and guys before i forget in my last video i promised you to show you this recipe so if you haven't watched it please watch it i'll put the link down in the description box and this is a recipe that i've been sharing in my ig story so follow me at terry.toyed because i usually post my daily meals there and some short recipes in my ig in the reels stories posts and everything so i did what you wanted and i'll link the ingredients and the procedure down below so remember to check Hey guys, it's around 11.15 p.m. I'm already done with the house chores. The house chores video, the cleaning motivational video, I'll not include it in this video because it will be a too long video. So wait for my next video. I will include it there. and will also cook in that video a lot of recipes, a lot of them. So guys, I'll be making a vanilla cake with a twist of raisins. This is a cake that I posted in my Instagram stories and you guys showed me a lot of love and you requested me to do it and thank you for always showing me a lot of love in my ig stories and reels and everything so i'll be making that cake and what i'll use i'll be using margarine or blue bun all-purpose flour sugar cooking oil vanilla flavor milk three eggs baking powder baking soda and the raisins that we'll put on top so guys watch out and let's bake this sweet 
cake that has been requested by many, many, many of you. I will first measure three cups of flour, sieve it, then measure one tablespoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda, sieve it and set it aside. I will measure three tablespoons of margarine, three to four tablespoons of margarine, then melt it in the microwave so that I can use it to make my paste. I will beat my three eggs into my bowl, add one cup of sugar and whisk well until it becomes a thick paste. I will add margarine and remember guys the margarine I melted, I added in some oil so that it can become a full cup. I will add it in the bowl and whisk it. I will later add vanilla essence, a quarter teaspoon of it whisk well until it becomes a thick and soft paste. To my three cups of flour, I will add the paste I've been making bit by bit as I mix with my muiko or rather cooking stick. I'll mix it well until it becomes thick. Then I'll add, I'll be adding milk later bit by bit until I make a thick and soft paste without lumps. My paste is ready for baking so I'll be dusting my raisins with flour so that they can sink well in the paste while baking. Savannah, I'm coming home, Savannah. 
My cake is ready. I'll set it aside to cool as I have my lunch. For lunch, I'll be having the dinner leftovers, the chapo and the stew. Hey guys, my cake has cooled down and it's ready for cutting. Cut it and see how it has come out so well, guys. Thank you for watching this video. This video comes to an end at this point. I was to include the dinner of this day, but the video will be too long. So guys, watch out for my video. I will have the cleaning motivational video there, the one I've told you and the dinner of this sunday so watch out for my next video please do remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed please like this video like 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 share on your social media platforms try these recipes and tag me on my instagram page at terry.wairi tag me on your stories let's engage in the comment section tell me on anything you'd want me to do for you subscribe like share let's meet on my next video bye